Welcome back, it's your boy DC Farm. Big one behind the camera. Uh, we're doing today, we, we're activating our biochars. I know when y'all seen this mix of soil, you didn't see us add it. Um, it actually came late. We prefer to do this while we're mixing the soil, but uh, we pay for it, we're gonna use it, and we're gonna show you how to activate it. So, uh, what we got here is two, four, six, seven buckets, five gallon buckets, however many you need. Like I said, we got a big production going, so. Um, we're going to use the um, organic. Today we're using organic Neptune's Harvest. This is Big Worm's favorite. <laughs> you can also use uh, the Alaskan one that you get from Home Depot. Uh, fish fertilizer as well. Um, whichever is your favorite. Uh, fish hi um, what's it called? Hydrate, hydrate, fish fertilizer. Yeah, the fish hydro. hydro. No, right. now I can't even say it. Right. <laughs> so we're using the, um, not the emulsion. Um, but this also has the kelp mixed in too, so that's why I like it as a benefit with the kelp and the fish together. So exactly. So um, what we're gonna do is add about four tablespoons to each. And with this, with the biochar, you ain't got to be super uh, exact because it's gonna soak it up like a sponge. It's not gonna burn the plants. You know, it's good stuff. And for all our purists out there, you can make this on your own. Yes, you can. Doing your own thing for pennies on the dollar. We just, uh... That actually would be the preferred method. You know, you go fishing or whatever. Uh, all this you can make on your own for sure. But like you said, we, we're rushing everything right now. So, we'll use what we can get. It's good stuff too, man. Um... So we put some earthworm, uh, earthworm castings in there too, forgot to mention. Um, you guys definitely need to um, check these dudes out, local. Um, worm casting, organic. Everything that he used for his worm castings is organic. He, you can see what it looks like, let me show y'all. Some good quality earth ca uh, earthworm castings. Um, definitely has some, um, what they call it again? The cocoons in the there. The cocoons in there for sure. Um, all the ingredients. This is a good local company. Like I said, everything's organic. A local farmer um, will take care of you. Look out for these, man. Coming to a, a hopefully um, a hydroponic store near you guys. We're trying to get it in the stores, man. So make sure y'all look out for it. Um, look for this worm casting because it's a real, it's real, real good worm casting. Um, now this is our by charge. This is what we got available to us in DC. There's lots of brands out there. Use something you can get. Yep. An empty bucket. So the total soil mix we're trying to do uh, about 5% by volume. Um, some experts at a nice conference with doctorate degrees smarter than me said they felt like anything past 5% probably wasn't adding much. So I'm going to accept them on that right now. Um, I also feel that um, it's probably not detrimental. It's just not cost. It's cost prohibitive. Well, this is what the biochars look like in the bucket. And this is our mix with um, earthworm castings and the uh, fish emulsion. Pull that right on in there. You can see on one we tested here, it turns into just straight a sponge. Look at that, it just sucks it right on up. Right. See the air making its way up through this is stuffed off. There's no resistance. Pretty much fill your five gallon bucket all the way up to the top as much as you can. It's not gonna spill over. It's probably good because the hole's gonna shut it out. Yeah, it's loose. Every good urban farmer's gotta have your bucket collection. Alright. Need the buckets. 
Oh, look how the water just runs straight through that, y'all. It's, it, it's inert. It does not affect your watering. It, it doesn't affect anything. It acts as a sponge. It's so good. Good stuff. Damn. So in there, you can see that we have an entire bucket full of the biochar and then an entire, still a whole bucket of water. That's how much it's able to expand and absorb. Yeah, rotation's gonna work. <laughs> I know a lot of y'all seen um, seeing the videos and stuff is like, man, that's a lot of work. It really isn't. And you also have to consider that once you do this the first time, that's it. You don't have to mess with it ever again. This soil will last for a lot of cycles. Um, not hating on super soil, this isn't super soil. This is not gonna last you for one run. This is gonna last you for plenty of cycles going down the line. So it's not built, that's what, in other words, I guess what I'm trying to say is this mixture is not a super hot mixture. It's not um, built to be a super soil. We're not putting any um, guanos, alfalfas, or any of that in that soil mix. Um, but we will, um, as we're growing, we will be making teas, um, adding amendments, top dressing, and y'all see that as we go along. But this is very important, this biocharge, I don't know if we explained it. Uh, it, it holds the, the nutrients in the soil, man, and then it's like, it sucks everything up, like my partner said, like a sponge, man. It's slow release nutrients for your soil life. So this is very good to have in your soil, for sure. Let me keep moving. how quick I fill them buckets up, nothing's spilling out. I mean, it runs right through. So I've done this both ways. I've stirred it a whole lot. I've aerated it and I've let it sit. And it does not go anaerobic. Um, I literally let it sit for a week just to test that. And when I stirred it and broke the seal on the top, everything was fine inside. So you can aerate this if you really want. Uh, this mix is more designed for nutrition than life. Uh, we're trying to supercharge this with that with the fish and the kelp. So it'll be like a slow release. Uh, it will hold life as well. It's like a hotel for life. So condominiums everywhere, every square inch, everywhere. every square millimeter fractions. And I think that's why that mat comes on top. Uh, DC Farmer, when you do the top dress with it, the stuff grows so easily on it. Oh, okay, okay. Probably. The worms eat it too, man. The worms were in it like they were in a, a bath of goodness. They just were all up in it. So for all you worm production people out there, I feel like this could definitely have a place in your bedding. Buckle your seatbelt, sit back, and enjoy the ride. Slow down. My 
job bad, then high school I was in high class. Graduated with a 3.5, now the teachers buy my gas. Ride pass, 12, middle, finger erect, fuck em. DC farmer got a new string, so we gon' puff it. <laughs> Day after y'all, all the water, stuff there.